you doing? This is Professor Farrow over at Farrow Academy in Elmhurst. Uh, I'm going to show you guys a uh, Darce choke attempt to like an arm and guillotine um, transition. Okay. Uh, we'll start in uh, side control. So when I when I started jujitsu, especially being a small guy, when I was on uh, side control. I never was able to hold side control. I would, I would be on top of people. I'd, pr I'd probably just be squeezing the, the head. People would just get the underhook and, and then they would escape or they just flung me off of them because I weighed nothing and didn't know how to keep top pressure. Okay, but for this, um, so what I started doing, um, I kind of, if I felt like I had a good side control, I kind of baited them a little bit to get the underhook. And as they started it, I started already crunching that shoulder, my right shoulder down and sometimes I'll even put my left foot out, so just a little bit more uh, space, okay, and more pivot room. So I'm here. I come in for the dars, and most of, most of the time her head's going to be back because she's not going to want me to suck her head in. That's when I'll get like kind of like a gable grip. I tuck my elbow, bring her head to my armpit, and then I go for the dars, okay? But when I'm going for the dars here, she sees it coming. She's going to start turtling up, okay? At this, at this point, before she's even here, I'm switching my grip, so I'm in the Dars, now I'm just gonna grab my wrist, and I'm gonna come across. Okay, I'm gonna bring my left knee back in, my right leg up, and I'm gonna lift up and just fall to the side, and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go slow with this one, I'm, I'm leaving too much space here, but right now I have my foot, like my hook on her hip. Okay, we'll do it from a, a different angle too. And then my butt is out, and my right leg is gonna be over as I go for this choke, okay? So we'll do it at a little bit uh, quicker speed. Now, when I go for the, the arm and guillotine, when I go for the darts, I have to grab the wrist and I'm gonna pull up and I can't let go from there, okay? So we'll do it again. So we here we have side control. I start entering the darts. She starts to turtle up. I start switching and I'm driving on her. So I'm switching, grabbing my wrist. I'm starting to come up, left leg in, I put pressure on her, now I fall back and get a quick tap. Okay, the, again, it's gonna be quick, don't, don't leave neck space, um, and don't release the upward pressure, okay? Uh, or else they're gonna, it's, it's not gonna be a deep choke, it'll be more of a crank and they'll slide out, okay? So we're here, we might be coming in, she works the underhook, I go for the darts, she turtles up, I put my weight in, up, and get a quick tap, okay? Um, we'll go one more, a little slower, just with the, the footwork and the hand positioning. And we come in, she, it, I scoop, and now this is right here. I grab my wrist, and I go all the way, I go left knee, right knee up. Okay, now as I fall, I try to put my foot across the hip and I angle and kind of oblique crunch to get the finish, uh, the choke. So in nogi, especially, a lot of leg attacks, uh, go after the neck constantly, because um, we're slippery with arm bars, all that stuff. So chokes are the way to go for nogi. Thanks for watching guys, like, comment, and subscribe on my YouTube and we'll be back next week for some more videos. Oh.